Welcome to another episode of Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, I try to bring you guys a variety of different tech-related content. So, if this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. In today's video, we're gonna look at how to manage traffic leaving the WAN 2 port on a dual WAN edge router in the event that ISP1 and WAN 1 goes down, we're gonna look at how to manage the traffic that goes out of WAN 2. All right, guys, so a while ago, I did a video on setting up dual WAN on an edge router with failover. And in that video, we talked about if WAN 1 goes down, the traffic will then be routed out of the failover WAN to the ISP. So in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to build upon that and we're going to take the traffic in the event that the first WAN goes down, we're going to take the traffic that goes out of WAN 2, but we're going to prioritize it or manage, I guess, for a lack of a better word, and only take select um, devices and send them out that WAN 2 port. Now, this has been a request by a couple of viewers ever since I did that last video. So I'll put a link to that last video up above in case you missed that one. Okay, guys, so I'm signed into the Edge Router, and let me show you what I have set up here. This is the same setup I used for the other video when I set up the dual WAN with failover. We have an Edge Router where WAN 1 is ETH0, WAN 2 is ETH1. You see the private addresses here. That's because I'm simulating the internet here off my main network, but typically these would be public addresses from your ISP. Now, again, I want to mention that a couple of viewers asked for this video um in a situation where they wanted to know how to manage traffic or limit traffic so to speak uh, in the event that the isp1 goes down and they have like a smaller connection on isp2 like even a 4g type connection so that's that's what we're talking about here in this video this is not going to be anything with policy routing or um weighting the type you know the amount of traffic that goes out one interface versus the other if you want to see good videos on that actually excellent videos on that go check out ben pin's channel he does a great job with using the cli to really get in there and tweak uh, those types of things but for us we're just going to take a look at the fact that when one goes down and we have a smaller isp connection on WAN two so how do we prioritize and decide who gets to go out that WAN two interface now, that being said, let me show you what I set up here. In a hypothetical situation for the purpose of this video, I just set up two VLANs with two different departments, a sales department and a finance department. Now, I was in public education when I was in my uh, full-time career. So in a situation like that, we were VLANing off like our administration, our finance department, which was our business administration department, with our teachers, our students. So, I mean, you can you know, design your network in any way that fits your needs. But for the purpose, again, of this video and the inquiries that I received, I created a hypothetical small business situation with two departments, two VLANs, one for sales and one for finance. Now, the other thing I do want to mention is that I'm not using a switch. I'm using just the edge router in this particular video. So I want to show you one other thing I did. I went into switch zero into the config and under VLAN, I enabled VLAN aware so that I was able to assign E3, the port um, VID of VLAN 10, and then E4, VLAN 20, a PVID. So that this way, since I'm not using a switch, if I plug my computer directly into either port 3 or port 4, I'm either going to get an address in VLAN 10 or VLAN 20. But in your case, typically you would use, you know, your router and then have your switch. You would configure your, you do have to configure your VLANs on your edge router. Yes, but then you would configure the individual ports on your routers accordingly. So I just wanted to uh, get that disclaimer out of the way. So I am currently plugged into uh, right now VLAN 10. And you can see that here by looking at my network settings. I have an address in the. 192.168.10 uh, range, so that is a good thing. I also set up the other services like DHCP and DNS as well for these two VLANs. Now, if you're interested in knowing how to do all that, I've done videos on that, and I'll link to a video or two up above here. Okay, getting started. So now we're gonna simulate 
VLAN, uh, not VLAN, uh, ISP1 going down, we're going to create a couple of firewall rules so that we can control the traffic that goes out. So the first thing I want to do is let's go over to the firewall net tab and let's click on the firewall policies tab. And you can see the two rules that were set up by default for WAN in and WAN local. We're going to add another rule set. We're going to call it WAN out. And the default action is going to be accept. We're going to go ahead and we're going to say save. Now that we have the rule set created, let's assign an interface. So in this case, we're going to assign it to interface ETH1, which is our second WAN port, so our WAN2 port. So ETH1, and then the direction we want is going to be out. And we're going to go ahead and say save rule set. So we're going to come over now to the rules tab and we're going to add a new rule. We're going to add basically two rules. So here we're going to drop all traffic out to the web. So we're going to type, we're just going to call this drop all. The default action is going to be drop protocol TCP on advanced. We'll just click establish new and related. And then we're going to come over to the destination tab and we're going to say port four, four, three. Now this is just dealing with secure web traffic. You can add the other rule for port 80 as well, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to work with uh, port 443. So now at this point, I have my computer set on VLAN 10, as you see here. If I go back into the dashboard here and I could show you that both ISPs are connected. So I'm going to simulate an outage now by unplugging ISP one from the edge router. So I'll be right back. Okay. And you can see that the address disappeared and the status now for uh, ISP one is disconnected. So now according to the rule that we set up, no traffic or none of the machines should be able to get out to um, the internet via WAN2. So let's bring up a new tab and let's click on, let's say, well, let's go to Wells Fargo online because we know that that's the problem, most likely a secure website. And you can just see up here, if you look at my arrow on the new tab, it's just loading and loading. And if you look all the way down in the corner, you can see it's connecting, connecting, connecting. But you see the page is not loading. So that's right now the way the rules are set up. That's working exactly as expected. However, let's go back into the edge router and let's add the rule now. Remember with the two departments, sales and finance. So let's just assume hypothetically that in this case, the finance department has the priority and they need to continue doing what they do. So we're going to allow the finance department on the finance VLAN to get out of WAN 2. So we're going to go into the WAN out rule set. And we're going to add a new rule. And we'll just call it allow finance for now. Let's make the default action except we're going to say TCP. We go to establish new and related. We're going to go to the source tab now and we're going to put in the IP range or of the finance department and, or that VLAN. So it's going to be 192.168.20.0 slash 24. We're going to come over to the destination tab and we're going to say 443 and we're going to say save. So if you take a look at what we did here, we're allowing the finance department in this range to get out on port 443 protocol TCP. The action is to accept, but we're not done. We have to move this rule up on top of the drop all rule because the, all, the rules go in sequence. So let's just move this up top. 
and then say save rule order. And we'll close that. Now I'm still on VLAN 10. So if I tried to reload Wells Fargo, I still won't be able to get to it. You see, it's just loading, 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 and loading. Okay, however, let me bring up my network config, and you can watch now. I'm going to switch. I'm going to unplug my computer from port 3 on the edge router and plug it into port 4. I should get an address in the um, finance VLAN, a 192.168.20 address. So let's see what happens. And there we go, guys. There's the address in the finance VLAN. So we're going to just minimize this. And now if we reload Wells Fargo, we should be able to get out to the website. And there you go, guys. So a simple when out rule set with two basic rules is just an easy way to control your traffic in a situation where you have an ISP on your WAN, your backup WAN that has a small connection and you need to prioritize or manage who gets out to the internet and who doesn't. Well, here's a simple way to do it without going into the CLI, without going into the config tree, just using some simple firewall WAN out rules. So there you have it, guys. If you liked this video, found it helpful, and would like to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. You can help out the channel by remembering to subscribe, give the video a like if you haven't already, and share the video. And remember to use those Amazon affiliate links down in the video description below. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.